Hi, this is Joe from eattheplanet.org. Uh, today I found this uh, Douglas fir. Just wanted to show you how to identify Douglas fir. The other things you might get it confused with is spruce and fir and potentially a hemlock. Uh, when you're identifying these evergreens, you always want to go right close to the needles and that's where you'll see the differences. So Douglas fir has long flat needles. Spruce has a uh, roundish or squarish needles and they're quite a bit smaller and pointier. These are soft and fluffy. And you can kind of tell by the uh, looking at the tree that the foliage is looser and softer than a spruce tree. The other thing to look at on the needles is the connection points. Let's see if I could zoom in. There you go. So right at the base of the needle is where you want to look to confirm your identification between uh, spruce fir and Douglas fir. Uh, the Douglas fir has a thin connection between the needle and the branch. It's green. It's a thin green connection, which you could see on a, on a couple of needles here. The fir has a connection that ends very abruptly with sort of like a uh, it looks like if you if you look real close it looks like the needle is like suction cupped to the brown bark on a fir not a douglas fir douglas fir is a completely different genus i'll put a link in the um, description connecting you to the identification of a fir so to summarize you're going to look at that connection at the base of the needle it's called the petiole and on the Douglas fir, it's light green, and the spruce, it's brown. And the spruce needles are a lot smaller and stiffer. Um, that's why they call it Douglas fir, because it does look sim more similar to a fir. Um, with the fir, the main difference is you're going to have more of an abrupt connecting point between the brown twig and the green uh, needle. So hopefully that helped you to identify Douglas fir versus spruce and fir. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks.